Who's the biggest pickle fan that you know? Well, that's definitely you. It's true. Today, we're really excited to be near downtown Fort Worth at the Best Made Pickle Emporium. When we were growing up in Texas, we both remember getting those big pickles at like the football games and at the movie theater. And if you're from around here, those were best made pickles. unique flavors that they don't have at the grocery store. Here's a spicy habanero one. I don't know what a beer pickle is. And then their sandwich bread is actually what started this whole thing before the they started making pickles. And oddly enough, I've never tried it. So I think we'll try this as well. Oh my. We might have bought a few things. So when we get back, we will give you guys a full haul of all the yumminess that we bought at the Pickle Emporium. This is like a dream come true. I'm so excited right now. Through the magic of video, we're home now. We're home and we can't wait to show you guys all of the things that we bought at the Best Made Pickle Emporium. That was awesome. It was. Guys, I won't lie, I'm a little nervous about a few of these. <laughs> Well, we did get some unique items, but uh, it'll be okay. All right. <laughs> Keith has a limited palette. <laughs> Let's just say that. He's picky. Okay, well first I want to show you guys my t-shirt. I did buy the Kinda A Big Dill t-shirt. I love it. It's blocked by all this product, but I wanted to show you that. Hey, the shirt's fitting. <laughs> I am a big deal. I didn't get it. <laughs> or it's or it's ironic because I'm 4'11", <laughs> so I'm really not a very big deal. It's dual purpose. Okay, and then I also got a sticker for our sticker collection. So cute. And the other sort of merch item that I got was the Turvis cup. She can drink a pickle juice out of that. Exactly. Who else drinks pickle juice? Be honest, put it in the comments below. Let me know if I'm not the only weirdo. Before we show you what we bought, let's show you a few things we already had at the house. Yeah, so there's this. <laughs> they had these at the Emporium, but I didn't buy one because I already had this at home. And as you can see, I've eaten almost half. So I always used to get these big pickles at the movies and they would put them in this little paper bag, just like that. Have a pickle. I totally remember that. Man, those are the best. Uh, Do you ever eat these? On occasion, but definitely not as frequently as you. It's pretty much just me that's eating these, so uh, that's how many I've eaten so far. What is your favorite best made product? Well, I'm glad you asked, because it happened <laughs> to be sitting right here. I love the hamburger slices. Mm, man, when I get me a hamburger, <laughs> my hamburger is like this thick because it just has meat, cheese, 
and a stack of pickles. These are awesome. If you guys like pickles on your burgers, we highly recommend the hamburger slices. They're very thin and totally delicious. All right, let's get into uh, some of these this new product we have. Which one do you want to start with? I'm most excited about this one. You guys saw these in the store. These are the Bloody Mary Pickles. They're non-alcoholic. They're just soaked in like a Bloody Mary mix. So that means it's going to be a spicy tomato. Um, so I'm hoping these have a kick to them. <laughs> I think Keith is scared to try it. Okay, that smells so good to me. You're going to like it. Mm-hmm. It's making my mouth water a little bit. Are we do this caveman style? Oh, no, I have some forks. Hang on, let me get them. Here you go. Okay. I did notice that if you're on a diet, this is actually a really good snack. 16 pickles, 7 calories. Oh, I mean, pickles are practically free. They barely have any calories. So if you're on a diet, they're like the best. But yeah, I have a salty tooth, so I always crave like salty snacks. So pickles are a go-to for me. Here we go. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was not prepared for how hot that is. I said I wanted it to be spicy. Boy, is it. Oh, good to <clears throat> It's good, though. Oh, man. That is good. It wouldn't be my go-to pickle, but not bad. Keith, which product are you the most excited about trying? Besides the cotton candy, which we're saving for last. I'd say probably the Salty Lady Beer Pickles. Okay. So, just to clarify, do they have beer in them? No, there's no beer in them. So, there's a brewery in Dallas called Martin House, and they use best made pickle juice to make a pickled beer. In turn, they took the ingredients that Martin House used, and they made some pickles. I'm assuming they'll be extra salty since they're called Salty Lady, but I don't know. We don't know. I know, but... I know another Salty Lady. <laughs> Good one, babe. Okay. All right, let's grab a Salty Lady beer pickle. Here it, you go. Is your lady salty? <laughs> kind of sweet. I'm not getting sweet. There's some kind of spice I'm tasting that I'm not a super fan of and I can't tell what it is. It's a secret. It just says natural flavoring. Mm. I don't know what the flavorings are in that. I think it tastes a lot like maybe like a turmeric or something. There's some sort of spice in there that I'm not a super fan of. What did you think? It's all right. Just okay. Yeah. I think Best Made needs to stick with their original recipe because their pickles are the bomb. But those ones were just, eh, bit, so bit disappointed. I had high hopes for that one. Okay. Did you have high hopes for this one? I have no hopes for this one. <laughs> well, let's just go for it. Keith is a little nervous about this one as well. These are the pickled okra. Now, I love okra, but I've never had pickled okra. And the guy in the shop said that these are one of their best sellers, that they're very popular. Does it smell like pickles? No, it smells like okra. Mmm. You know it smells like banana peppers. A little bit. All right. Do you guys like okra? Now, he he likes it fried. I'll eat it fried. I'll tolerate it fried. I like it just about any way. You like it in a, was it a stew or I make gumbo? like an okra gumbo that's super yummy. That's but my, that's, I, my, that's my grandpa's recipe. It is. It's non-slimy, yo. Well, he, he was a farmer, so he grew okra and taught me how to make okra gumbo. But I've never pickled it or even tried these, so here we go. Okay. Cheers! <laughs> Keith's scared. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. It does kind of taste like a banana pepper. It's pretty good. It's all right. I like it. It's not bad, huh? It's you took much, two bites. It's much better than I expected, so. Mmm. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, that's actually really good. Not bad, guys. Don't be afraid. Do not fear the pickled okra. <laughs> it's delightful. All right, Abby. So what's next on the menu? These are the snappy garlic dills. And... They were recommended, again, by the nice gentleman who worked at the Emporium. He said these are his personal favorites, 
and that we really should try them. So let's try them. I'm going to do the smell test. It's garlicky. Garlicky. Okay, well, they're garlic dills, so of course they're garlicky. Cheers. Mmm. They're very garlicky. And a little bit of spice. But not as spicy as these, but they're pretty spicy. Maybe the snappy part is the spice. Maybe. Didn't like it. You didn't care for it? No. It's, it's pretty garlicky. Yeah, I'm not a huge garlic guy. Garlic doesn't bother me. Oh, I see why it's spicy. Look at there. There are hot peppers down in the bottom. No wonder I'm detecting a kick on that. Now, this is the one <laughs> that Keith fears the most. You thought he was afraid of this one and the okra. Oh, no. His biggest fear is the best made sandwich spread. This is my kryptonite right here. Well, thing is, Keith has a strong aversion to mayonnaise. Yeah. And, yeah. And you know what's in that? Mayonnaise. It is. Okay, so when we were at the Pickle Emporium, they had, it was kind of like a little museum, and they taught about their company. And the company actually did not begin by making pickles. At first, this was their product. This was the sandwich spread. So the lady that started the company, this was her famous sandwich spread. And I think it's probably kind of like Thousand Island dressing, which he also does not like. Um, but she needed the pickles to go in the sandwich spread, so she started making homemade pickles, and then those took off, and they became a pickle-making company. But they still make the original sandwich spread. I've never tried it. So there's a first time for everything. Knock yourself out. Now, it would be kind of gross to eat it right out of the jar. And so what I did was I made a little mini, I just, I just made a little toast little sandwich. No, you're not going to taste this at all. No. You guys, give him a hard time in the comments. He should at least try it. Hey, you can... Good grief. Hey, you, you would... You're th thank me now because... He'd probably barf. Yeah, I would barf. <laughs> but not because the product is gross, just because you personally don't like it. It's just mayonnaise. It's, okay. Can't do it. All right. Well, I'm not scared of a little mayo, so here we go. Mmm. That is really good. It's kind of sweet. It reminds me of a pimento cheese spread, but it doesn't have cheese. I bet you could make a pimento cheese spread by putting this in shredded cheese. It'd probably be delicious. Or on like a ham sandwich or a bologna. Mm. Yeah, thumbs up. I like it. We'll give you a pass. Thank you. I have a sweet tooth. Abby has a salty tooth, so I definitely have been looking the most forward to this one. I mean, but dill pickle cotton candy, though, that sounds a little weird. It does sound weird, but let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, it smells interesting. Just give me a little bit of that. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, the dog wants some. Hey, get down. You gotta eat a lot if you're gonna eat it. No, you don't have to. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's like garlic flavored cotton candy, y'all. Mm -mm. That's wrong. Hey, best mate, stick with pickles. <laughs> If you're ever in Fort Worth, we would definitely recommend that you go to the Best Made Pickle Emporium. Absolutely. Hey, see you guys next time. I'm going to go and eat some of these. Bye.